Frank here from Frankly Built recently had a live cast. He mentioned something that I think a lot of us can relate to. I remember sitting on this floor, it was 2 a.m. before my first trip to Silicon last year and it was crunch time and I had one shot to get it right and I labeled everything, got everything to work, taped it all up and left it. One big failure point is the wrists. So these are the wires that ran down my arms. By lifting your hand up and down all the time, doing the repulsors, adjusting, these wires start to bend and eventually break. The same in the shoulders. Constantly lifting my arm up like this and moving it was putting a lot of strain on the wires in my shoulder, the elbow flexing. Hey Frank, I've got a solution for you. So we've got these LEDs here and they're attached to a wire. I want to show you what this wire can do. And this is from my friend Shannon's company, Enlighten. Are you ready for this? Wire that stretches. You can buy it at a store and it's super cool. I'm going to send you a couple to sit there and play with and then give you a call. Hey Frank, how's it going man? Yeah, see so you got the package? Yeah, so what do you think of the wires? This, this is cool. Like, this is, I didn't know this was possible. Um, I know, right? Yeah, that's like, that's perfect. That's exactly one of the big problems. It's stretchy, but it's only three wires. So, like, do you have anything that's a bigger gauge? Yeah, so he doesn't make it in a larger gauge. Um, you know, I could probably do something with that. I, you know, I'll figure out how to make it. Anything else that you can think of? Um, like, yeah, I can increase the gauge, but then, you know, then what? The, the gloves, one wrist has six wires, the other wrist has five wires. Cool, man. I'm on it. Yeah, I'll make it happen. Later. What the hell is wrong with me? I don't know how to make this stuff. Looks like it might be time to do, oh, I don't know, a little bit of research. Now, a word of the wise to people out there, if before you say you can do something, generally, you actually want to know how to do it. Now this is called a fishtail braid and it can be done with three, four, five, six, as many strands as you want. You're going to need a couple of basic things to make this happen. You're going to need the wire and the wire is what I use and my favorite, a little more expensive, is silicone sheathed wire. It costs a little more but it's more rubbery and flexible and it's really conducive to making this stuff. You're going to need some bungee cord, one or 1.5 millimeter diameter bungee cord you can get two millimeter choose whichever one you think would work better the reason why i like the smaller stuff is that i can do multiple strands and should one of the links break you still have a couple more to hold on to now when you sit down you have the two cores and the two cores or the two core lines are the bungee cord so what you end up doing in this case is, is that you take the two cores and you lay them out and you put the wires up at the end. I just join them all together in a knot at the end. Now you take the top wire on whichever side, in this case the left side, and you lay it over top of the left hand core and then you bring it underneath the right hand core and bring it to the other hand. Then you take the right hand. And what ends up happening is, is Ben has a temper tantrum trying to weave a freaking bracelet. The average Joe, this might be easy, but when you have middle-aged, clumsy hands and you're addled with coffee, this isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do. Right. All right, back at the computer, let's figure out what we can do. Now, I recall there being these weaving looms that you could use to make these bracelets. So let's just come and take a quick look. On Amazon, you can find bracelet weaving looms for a paracord bracelet. So now we have the wire, we have the bungee cord, and we have the weaving loom. I'm gonna add one little extra step. I suspect that trying to weave over top of bungee cords is gonna be floppy and a pain in the butt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of kite string or just a thin string that you might have laying around. And we're gonna weave around that and the bungees at the same time. 
That'll give you a little more stability for when you're doing the weave. And at the end, you can always pull the string out and you'll have the bungee that you need. So what we're doing here is we're just adding the bungee cord, giving her a knot, the string, again, tying a knot. Stretch it out. And when you get the wires, you need two and a half lengths is about the right length that you need for making these. Now you're gonna see a little quick fast forward through the start. I'm gonna show you how this is done here in just a moment. The start is messy and it's kind of hard to explain. Now that we're here, we're gonna take the top wire on the left side, throw it through the middle. Top wire right side, throw it through the middle. Then go back to the top wire on the left side, down through the middle, top wire right side, down through the middle. This might get a little redundant. I think you can see how this is done. And this is literally how you start and also how you finish. Let's speed this thing up, shall we? Once you finish this guy off, you're going to release him from the end. You're going to grab that string and give her a little slice. You should be able to slide the whole thing off of that string and you will have yourself a bungee wire. Like I said before, as you can do this in four wires, five wires, six wires, keep in mind that after about eight, it doesn't stretch as far and it can be a bit clumsy. So I would say kind of go to six and either figure out how to use six conductors or run two six conductors or you know get a bunch of Shannons and add them. Now you can go to Enlighten and buy these and I highly recommend you do so. They are freaking amazing and it's all plug and play. No solder, no nothing. The reason why I like the heavier gauge is so I can run things like motors and servos and run a little more power through it. Those little thin wires are great for LEDs but that's about it. Now here's six wires. Man, you could sit there and play with this thing all day. It is really weird. You might want to integrate this into the costume. If you used a single color, it would almost look like a, a rope braid or something along a seam. So you could make the seam itself look like part of the costume. You're gonna find links to all this stuff down below and join my Patreon. Patreon, you'll get advanced viewings of some of these tutorials and also access to computer-aided design files and all sorts of fun stuff. You also get access to our Discord server where you can find like-minded people that wanna build stuff with you. Take a look in the tabs now too. There's some Dreadmaker Robert swag. We got t-shirts and coffee cups. I've got mine in order and it's coming in right soon. Love to see a picture of you with it.